Hello Unity fans, here's the next tutorial about opening a panel with an animation. In the last part I showed you how to activate a panel on clicking a button, and we also toggled the visibility, but now we'll turn this panel into a kind of menu that has a sub-panel that I will open with an animation. So I change the text to menu, and then reduce the height of the main panel. Okay, then I rename the panel to panel menu, and as a new child game object I add another panel. And this will be the panel that we are going to animate. I reduce the height of this new panel, bring it a bit downwards, and then I anchor it to the top. For the background color I also use a darker tone, with a bit of opacity, and after that we can go ahead and select the animation window to create the animation for this panel. Be sure to have the panel selected and as animation file name I choose open menu. Alright, so let's create the open menu animation. I select this frame, enable automatic keyframe insertion and then you just have to set the height of the panel and the keyframes are added automatically and the open animation is completed. You can preview this now in the animation window, move the slider to the left or the right, and once you're happy with it, disable the auto keyframe insertion and the preview. And in the animation folder you can see your open menu animation, I disable the looping for this. And also an animator controller is created called panel, I will rename this to menu animator. What's really cool about this approach is that you can move around the base object, in this case the panel menu, as you like, and the animation will be displayed in a position that is relative to this object. So when you create animations like this with Unity, keep in mind that it's always a good idea to have a parent object. Ok, so let's go ahead and set up the animator controller. I open it and create a new empty state, because I don't want to play the animation when the animator controller is created. This empty state should be the default, so I right click and choose set as layer default state. After that I create a new parameter of type bool and call it open. Then I create a transition from the empty state to the open menu, and this transition will be executed only if the open parameter is set to true. So I use this open parameter as a condition. Ok, then I duplicate this open menu, and create a new transition from the open menu to this new one, and I want this transition to be executed if the open parameter is set to false, and a set has exit time to false as well, so we don't have to wait that the open menu animation is finished. I call this new state close menu, and I set the speed to minus 1, this means I just invert the open animation, and this is how I create the close animation of the menu. The last transition goes back to the empty state, and that's it for the animator controller. Ok, the last thing that we have to do is to actually call this animation from a script and we are going to reuse the script that we added in the previous part. In this part we toggled the activation state of a panel, but now we are not going to open the main panel, we want to animate the child panel, so we just drag this panel into the panel slot. Then I open the script and we can remove the activation logic. Instead we get the animator controller as an animator component from the panel that we assigned, then we check if this is not null to be sure that this component is assigned to the panel, and then we use the getBool method of the animator controller to get the state of the open parameter. And again I want to toggle it, if it is open I want to close it, and vice versa. So what I do is calling the setBool method with the open parameter and I invert the current state. This can be done with the exclamation mark, the not operator, which is toggling this bool parameter. And now start the game and check if it works. I press the button, and the animation starts, and each time I press it, the state is toggled.
So guys, that's it. I really hope you like it and it was understandable for you on how to animate a UI panel with Unity. And if you want to support this channel, then of course subscribe if you haven't already and consider being my patron. This would really help this channel grow. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I'll see you on JNM.